It's amazing how time flies to realize it was 25 years ago that I stood on that final green, especially after everything that had transpired in my professional life up to that time. A quarter century ago, Marco Mira had amassed 14 victories over his 18-year PGA Tour career, but a major championship still eluded him. The media was gonna always ask me that next best question, you know, Mark, you're on that list of best players to have never won a major. And, I was always under the pretense that that was flattering. I told him, I said, look, I, I don't look at my life as a failure because I hadn't won a major championship. A perspective that transpired in O'Meara's first trip to Augusta National. 1980 was my first Masters tournament as the U.S. Amateur champ, and I was way out of my element. I didn't play well, but I do remember this vividly. I, I drove out Magnolia Lane that Friday afternoon, leaving Augusta National, and my dad looked over at me, and he's like, you know, Mark, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, Dad, I'm all right. I don't know if I'm ever gonna make it as a professional golfer or not, but I do know this for a fact. No matter what happens in my life, I got to play in the Masters Tournament one time. Fortunately for the then 23-year-old amateur, he would return five years later and the 12 years that followed, but he failed to crack the top 10 in all but one of those attempts. When I look back at what transpired in 98, prior coming into the tournament week, I thought, you know, this isn't going to happen for me. And when I lowered my expectations, the door opened up. He's never won a major, but is now in contention. At 41 years of age, no one expected Mark O'Mara to win the Masters, probably including myself. And for me, all you can ask for is an opportunity to win with two or three holes to go, and that's where I was on the 15th tee. Fred and I were both 600 par at the time, and Fred made eagle on 15, I made birdie. We got up on the 16th hole, I hit six iron to about 12, 14 feet. And he has a very makeable putt. I hit a really good putt, and it just missed on the low side. I said to Jerry, you know, that's as good a six iron as I can hit, and that's as good a putt as I can hit under these circumstances. Give me a new ball, I'm gonna birdie the last two holes. Now, I don't look at myself as an overconfident person, and I have no idea why I said that but it, it came out of my mouth. And O'Meara is still one back. I hit a good drive on 17. We'll find the fairway. I hit a good nine iron right over top of the pin to about 12 feet behind the hole. What a superb shot. I was nervous, but I felt very confident over that putt. I poured it in the middle. Wonderful putt. And now we stand on the 18th tee. Both of us are eight under par. You know, I hit a good drive in the fairway. I hit it pin high right of the flag, 18 feet. Mark O'Meara now, he's never faced a more important and vital moment than this. I could see it was about a cup and a half break from right to left, uh, that famous putt. And I said to myself, you know, Mark, sooner or later you're going to have to make a putt. And the longer it goes on, the more the odds go out of your favor. So why not just try to hit a good putt here? Good looking putt. It's getting about a foot from the hole, and I'm thinking, oh my god, it, it's going to go in. Mark O'Meara has won the Masters, birdieing the 72nd hole. If you look at my expression, we were shock and disbelief as to what the heck happened. And then I realized I'd won the Masters. No one has had more attempts before winning their first green jacket than Mark O'Meara. He sets the record today. At that time, there was only one other player to birdie the last two holes to win the Masters, and it was Mr. Palmer. Has birdied the 17th and 18th holes and has won the 1960 match. Uh, yeah, I was in rare company. He's going to have the green jacket presented to him by one of his neighbors, Tiger Woods. The problem is, is Tiger's a little bit taller than I am, and he's got the jacket up so high, I can't get my arm into the green jacket. Is it really that hard? Yeah, there you go. There we go. <laughs> and I look at Tiger and I'm like, T, what was that all about? And he's like, Mark, he goes, I've never put a sport coat on anybody. How the heck would I know how to do that? By adding his name to an elite role, O'Meara finally removed his name from the list of the best to never win a major. To finally break through and win the Masters at 41 years of age and win in the fashion that I did, I don't think that you could ask for anything better. 